fun. So I was tagged by Jenny or Miss Jen Fabulous to do the I heart fall tag and my hand hearts always suck. I'm always so jealous of people who can do really great hand hearts because my hands just like don't really make that shape that well. It's like they just can't really bend to make a heart. Mine always ends up looking really squashed and smushed. But yeah, um, this is an awesome tag that Jenny created and I love fall so when I started watching hers I was like, oh my gosh I love this, I need to do this tag. So I'll link her video down below and you guys should go and subscribe to Jenny because her videos are amazing, especially her nail tutorials. Oh my gosh, they just like blow me away and she's been doing a lot of nail tutorials recently. So definitely go say hi to Jenny and subscribe to her. Basically this tag is just all about fall, like favorite things during fall. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. <laughs> For lips, my favorite product during the fall is definitely my Revlon Lip Butter and Berry Smoothie. I just fell in love with this color last year when they first came out with the Revlon Lip Butters and I was just waiting for this time of year to roll around because this color is so perfect for fall. It's a beautiful berry color and I'm wearing it on my lips right now. And what I love about this is, number one, it's super hydrating because it's a lip butter and it also has great color payoff. And this particular color is great to build. So you can put a little bit on your lips for just like a slight hint of color, but you can also build it up on your lips to get a nice rich berry color out of it. So this is a really versatile lip product and if you're you're looking for a great everyday fall lip color, I highly recommend this. For nail polish, since Jenny picked three, I'm also choosing three because I know that she's a fellow nail polish addict just like I am, and it's so hard to choose just one color. So I'm going to show you guys my three favorite nail polishes for fall. The first one is one that if I really, really, really had to just choose one for like fall and winter, it would be this color. This is OPI's Will Always Have Paris, and the name of this, I just love the name because I love Paris, and this is a really deep Bordeaux color that I wear a ton during fall and winter. I also have OPI's Uh Oh Roll Down the Window which is a beautiful olive green color and Revlon's Mischievous which I'm wearing on my nails right now and this is a new shade according to the sticker here but I have a feeling I'm going to be wearing this a lot during the fall. It's a really pretty purpley brownish gray color. <laughs> My favorite drink at Starbucks during this time of the year is the pumpkin spice latte. It is just so good. I cannot tell you guys how good it is. I fell in love with it last year and um, I don't go to Starbucks that much so the pumpkin spice latte is like a nice little treat for me every now and then but it just makes me feel nice and warm and cozy and really gets me into the fall spirit and unfortunately I haven't been able to have one yet this year because it's just been really hot here recently and it's just now starting to cool down a little bit but um, yeah, I am looking forward to having a pumpkin spice latte and I'm going to agree with Jenny on this one, get it hot because I've had it on ice before and I really didn't like it on ice. <laughs> For candles, you guys know that I love my Leaves candle from Bath & Body Works and I actually have one burning back there right now and I have some new fall flowers back there. I went to Michael's and arranged some flowers. It was really fun for me to do and I think it's a nice change from my white flowers especially because it's fall now and it just makes me feel really festive and happy and I hope you guys like it. I think they're really pretty to look at. But um, I love leaves. Leaves will always be a favorite. But um, my current favorite this year is also the same as Jenny's. It is pumpkin cupcake. Oh my gosh, just so good. I love the frosted cupcake candle, but I think I love this one even more because it has a spicy quality to it, which I really like. So it's like sweet and like cinnamony, and it's just so good. So it's like the frosted cupcake. Um, candle but it's like the fall winter version and it's just so amazing oh, I can smell this all day I seriously this smells so good I wish I could just take a bite out of this candle like I wish I could eat it but um, it's described as pumpkin spice cupcake with rich buttercream and frosted ginger it's 
amazing. And I'm actually going to be doing a little candle giveaway at the end of this video, so be sure to stay tuned till the end and I will go over all of the rules and stuff. <laughs> My favorite fall scarf this year is this one from Topshop. I got this while I was in London, and I just love this. I was immediately attracted to the coloring on this scarf, and I think it's really nice, the pop of color here at the bottom with a little hint of blue and some purple and some peach here at the bottom, and then it's just brown here at the top. I just love this scarf so much, and it's really fluffy. I like to describe my scarves as fluffy when they're like nice and big and full and they don't get like super wrinkled and crinkled when you wear them around your neck. This one just continues to stay nice and full when I wrap it around and I love it. I've only been in a haunted house before. I've never done like the haunted corn maze or the haunted hayride, but I think those would be so much fun to do just because I like creepy things like that and I just never got the opportunity to do that stuff when I was younger, so I would love to do it now. But um, the haunted house experience was kind of scarring for me because um, I was a little kid and it just freaked me out so much and um, these people had built a haunted house in their front yard and it was so scary they had people like chasing you and I just remember at the end um, there was this strobe light and the um, end was like this long hallway and I was just like running and it felt like I was running in slow motion because of the strobe light and I was just like oh my god this is so weird I'm so scared and my friend had actually like lifted up the side of the haunted house and like gone out because she was so terrified but I had to make it to the end so I was like running and then all of a sudden these like people that are dressed up as monsters and like super gruesome looking monsters pop out and they start chasing me and I'm just like oh my god and when I got out I was like like, I'm never going in something like that again. And I really like creepy stuff, but that was just so scary. Like having these things chase after me and I was like a little kid, so I was super scarred. I think if I went into a haunted house now, I would be fine. But as a little kid, that was just so scary. I just remember those strobe lights so clearly. And it was just like really creepy running through strobe lights. It was the weirdest thing. <laughs> Hocus Pocus, without a doubt. Oh my gosh, that movie just brings back so many memories. I have seen that movie so many times. Like, it has to be more than 20 times. I would say, like, 30 or 40 times I have seen that movie because I would just watch it over and over and over as a kid. And I love Sarah Jessica Parker in that movie so much. It's really funny, and it's kind of creepy, but it's not super scary, and it's just such a great family movie and I still love watching it now. It just gets me into the Halloween spirit and that movie just kind of um, starts off holiday season for me because it just there's just so many great memories around that movie and I loved watching it as a kid. My favorite Halloween candy is just my favorite candy in general because I'm not a huge fan of like candy corn and stuff. I like it, but it's not like I have to have it. Um, but I really like Butterfingers and they just taste so much better when they're like the mini size. Oh, I don't know why, but mini sizes just taste better than the regular size. Last year I dressed up as Daenerys Targaryen from Game of Thrones and I just loved it so much because I'm obsessed with Game of Thrones. I love the book series, I love the TV show, and Daenerys is my favorite character because she's just a really strong, independent female character and I love that about her. And um, I just enjoyed being Daenerys last year so much that I think I'm going to be Daenerys again this year. And I am definitely someone who likes to repeat costumes. I was like that when I was a kid, and I'm still like that. Like, if I really like a certain um, costume or character, I will be that character for, like, multiple years in a row. My favorite thing about fall is just everything. I love the weather. I love how it gets cooler and it's crisp outside but it's not super cold 
and it doesn't really get super cold here in Southern California anyways, but it's just such a nice change from the really hot summers that we have. But I just love this time of the year because I get to spend it with family and friends and it just makes me so happy being like comfy and cozy and I have such great memories during this time of the year growing up and I'm just excited to make new ones. So fall is definitely a season that I love and I'm so excited that it's finally here and I wish that fall could be a little bit longer than other seasons because I just love it so much. I wish we could have like a fall extension. But yeah, that is going to be it for the tag today and I promised you guys a giveaway. So I'm going to be giving away um, this Wild Fox Couture jumper. I showed this in a haul video, my fall haul video, and this is the one that I'm going to be giving away. I have the exact same one. It's a blue color with a pink heart in the middle, and these are just super soft, and they are great for this time of the year. And I'm also going to be giving away a leaves candle. So one person will win the jumper and a leaves candle, and all you have to do is just make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so the one that you are watching this video on right now and then my second channel which is my vlog channel and that is called the grid monster and I will put that link down below so you guys can go and subscribe if you're not already subscribed but yeah that's all you have to do and just leave a comment down below and tell me why you heart fall and that is it that's all you have to do and I will just pick someone randomly and this giveaway will be open for one week and um, I'm also going to have a giveaway on Twitter, so I'm going to be giving away the pumpkin cupcake candle on Twitter, and all you have to do is just go and follow me on Twitter, at Miss Glamorazzi. I will put my um, Twitter link down below as well, and you just have to tweet me using the hashtag pumpkin cupcake. And that's it. You can tweet me whatever you want as long as you use the hashtag pumpkin cupcake. And that giveaway will be open all weekend and then I will just pick someone randomly and DM them and I will send the candle out to you. And I think I, think I went over everything. I think that is it. But yeah, I just wanted to do a little mini fall giveaway for you guys with some of my favorite fall things. The rules will also be written down below if you want to go over them again. But yeah, I think that's it for today. Be sure to check out my last video, which was my September favorites. That will be linked at the end of this video and down below in the information bar. I feel like I'm linking a lot of stuff today. But yeah, I hope you all are doing really well and I will see you guys later. Bye!